Patient safety is a critical component of the improvement in quality of healthcare across Europe. And the industry is working to reduce the incidence of HAIs, often called healthcare or hospital acquired infections. The ECDC indicate that the incidence rate in acute care hospitals in Europe is about 6%, which means on any one day, about one in 18 patients has a HAI. On an annual basis, that means over four million patients are impacted by a HAI. And unfortunately, that is attributed to over 37,000 deaths in Europe every year, which is actually higher than the incidence rate of road deaths. MedTech Europe was formed in 2012, and it's an alliance of medical technology industry associations from across Europe. Its mission is to bring value-based innovative technology to more people, whilst also supporting the transformation of European healthcare systems for sustainability. Hospital-acquired infections are obviously a key issue for any hospital. The sort of impact is obviously on the patient that can make them even iller than the problem they originally came in with. Also, they are likely to stay longer in hospital. That increases the problems we have in having enough beds available for all of our other patients. And also there's a cost associated with it because either you need to do additional treatments, additional drugs, and also because the patient stays in hospital longer, that costs more as well. Most hospital-acquired infections are preventable. That's partly making sure we screen our patients before they come into hospital so that if they've got an infection we can treat it quickly. But also it's making sure that our staff don't transmit it between the patients and themselves or between the patients. And that's using the right sort of equipment, good training for all of them so they know how to prevent it. And also very clever use of antibiotics. In terms of diarrheal infection, the real issue is making sure that we don't keep the patients in hospital too long because they've picked up an infection. But also the NHS in England is always working to basically maximum capacity. So if we're going to make sure we've got enough beds for the ongoing needs of patients coming into hospital, we need to make sure we're not hanging on to patients very long. So that's why it's an absolute key area for hospitals to focus on. In 2008, we undertook some research and published a report on preventing infection on the front line. And as an organisation representing the interests of patients and the public, we were disappointed to learn from this research that still, years on, healthcare acquired infections didn't seem to be anybody's business. But thankfully, we're in a much, much better place with regards to healthcare acquired infections. The calls and the inquiries that we get around healthcare acquired infections are just a tiny percentage now. So we're very, very pleased to be able to sort of acknowledge the huge contribution and the huge, you know, the work that frontline staff have been doing over the past five or six years. And we also know that, you know, the, co the current government, there's been a huge focus on healthcare acquired infections, especially MRSA. And we've now, you know, got to a place where there's zero tolerance, but we can never be complacent. So the Patients Association, our plea is always never, never compromise the safety or the well-being of the patient. You know, the health service is doing absolutely fantastic work and there's a huge amount that we need to celebrate and be proud of. And let's sort of maintain that um, and give the public the confidence they require. MedTech Europe is working with healthcare professionals to find solutions for detection, prevention, and if needed, to treat HAIs. Achieving a zero rate is going to be impossible, we know that, but there is a zero tolerance for non-compliance to finding measures to reduce HAIs. Europe can do better and should do better, and the ways that it can achieve it is through consistent measuring and monitoring, setting realistic and reducing targets, sharing best practice, overcoming innovations to technology adoption, and ultimately finding appropriate funding to reduce HAIs. All of that will ultimately achieve the goal of reducing the rate of this very important issue.